What's going on, guys? Time to talk week three preview in the Caps Gaming Showcase. I am No Sleeves 12. Shekel back with you again. Let's go over some of the bigger matchups as we were given the schedule for week three. What's going on, Sheck? Not much. Just looking forward to this weekend. Got some biggies. Absolutely. So just to kind of go over what's gone on so far. So there's 22-0 and teams with the Swiss format. Again, basically you only play teams of your same record for the most part, unless there's something crazy that happens. But for the most part, um, you play someone with your own record. So now that two weeks have gone by, you're kind of starting to see separation. There's 20 teams that are 2-0, and meaning that 10 are going to go to 3-0. and um, which is which is big, again, because we've just talked about this a lot. Five, for sure, will get you in. Four is the, probably the bare minimum, with goal differential being the tiebreaker to be one of the 32 teams to get into the playoffs, and that's really what you're playing for right now. Um, so that's definitely going to be big. So let's talk about the best matchups at 2-0. and uh, You said there's three of them that are kind mm -hmm. of must-watch, so give me, give me who you want to watch out for this week. Yeah, these are three that I think if you have time and are able to follow along and watch the stream. I would, it's going to be some really good hockey. And we're going to start off with the one that I would pick as the game of week. If I was picking as a caps uh, showcase administrator, and that's going to be composure versus the newly formed dare infinity or newly signed dare infinity. Um, this game is going to be really, really good. This has composure, the recent winner of ESHL. Uh, the players to watch on Composure is going to be Odie. Uh, many in the community consider him the best D-man in the game. And he will control the puck for Composure in all three zones. He helps with the breakout. He helps with the offense. Uh, he has the puck a lot. And uh, Infinity will definitely have to look out for him. Next is going to be Foot, the goalie. Uh, he's recently new to the position. Uh, and he'll need to play pretty well in this series. But he's got great defense in front. So he should be fine there. But... It's someone that you want to watch. Uh, he did well in the ESHL finals, but again, this is another tough matchup, and we'll see how he handles it. Um, official Mark is the last one for Composure. Uh, he's a good defenseman in his own right, but um, many teams find success entering the zone on his side, uh, more so than Odie's, and uh, he'll be a key factor in holding back the Infinity offense. For Dare Infinity, recently signed to Dare Rising, uh, it'll be a great test to see if Cortez made the right choice in this signing. Shout um, out Dare Rising. 30% uh, off G Fuel with code Dare. Yeah. I love then you have uh, <laughs> <laughs> players to watch, though, is going to be Rux, uh, Nene, FSU, the man of many tags. Uh, he's formerly known uh, as FSU if you were on the old gen, but he is playing in the 2K League. Uh, but he's on a break there, and he's still a top NHLer here. Uh, That's playing pretty center impressive. For, yeah, playing center for uh, Infinity. So he'll be look for him to make some big plays offensively and defensively. Uh, on his wing is going to be Trabi and Gergs. Are his two wingers? They've been around for a long time. Uh, they just started getting back into the competitive scene with the announcement of Caps. They've been playing, but they haven't really dove in like they have this year. They've been good offensive threats for the past few years and they they're going to be people that uh composure needs to look out for to shut down all right man so that being said who do you think is going to win i mean it sucks that one of these teams is going to go to two and one um but uh, that's just how the format works so it'll definitely be interesting to see who do you think wins this one yeah so i've been right about three out of the 10 series so far that you asked me so on an maybe absolute you... heater Oh, yeah. So maybe my opinion's not all that good. Maybe it's bulletin board. Maybe it's commentator's curse. Uh, but I'm going to go with an upset here and 2-1 uh, for Dare Infinity. Yikes. All right. Uh, I should probably take Dare in this. Uh, but <laughs> Composure hasn't lost yet. They're probably one, they're definitely one of the top four teams uh, expected to make Caps gaming until they show something or a reason as to, you know, to doubt them. No reason to doubt them. So I think that it probably goes three, um, but I think that Composure will win in three. Give me uh, give me another matchup, though, uh, to watch out for this weekend. Yeah, another big one is going to be Resilience versus BBB. Uh, this matchup could easily be the featured of the week as well. It's got two high-powered teams, uh, two well-known teams in the community, and two teams that are striving to make the land as well. For Resilience, you got... Uh, a little bit of a storyline here. Player to watch for sure is going to be Call Me Jakku. He was cut from BBB back at the beginning of this year after they won back-to-back -back championships in 19. Uh, 
BBB hasn't won a championship since cutting Jakku, so maybe this is going to be a revenge game for Jakku and show them what they're missing out on. Uh, another player to watch is going to be the decor for Resilience, Lemlin, and Doughty. Uh, BBB is well known for their offense. Uh, they score a lot on the rush, quick moving offense. So Lemon and Dowdy will have to play well to slow down BBB's offense. For BBB, you have uh, K Cut at right D. He performs most of the breakouts for BBB. He replaced Flowmaster Joe, uh, who was a very offensive D man for BBB. So Kyle will be part of the offense as well and someone that Composure needs to pay attention to to not composure resilience uh kyle is part of the offense and uh, it's someone that resilience will definitely need to pay attention to uh he will be involved in the offense as well the next player to watch is going to be sitful he's a very offensive center very good in his own right and he'll be a key player in breaking down uh resilience but sometimes he does get caught and leaves some odd man rushes for resilience which they must capital on capitalize on you also have a completely new back end with bbb both d men are new their goalie is new uh perry's now in net so this will be a big test for them to see their changes this offseason to see how they're performing fair enough all right who's winning i got resilience in two shots fired all right fair enough in two all right uh you know what i watched that bbb game uh with you on the weekend and uh, like we talked about it in the last episode, uh, wasn't super impressive. Now they still got the win, um, but uh, I'm going to go, I will go with Resilience in two as well. I want to see something out of BBB, not so much that I think that they're worse by any means. I just want to actually see them, uh, you know, win a game in this tournament uh, against a team that's very good. And, and in week three, they definitely got one in Resilience. So uh, give, me, uh, give me one more big matchup that, uh, that you're interested in this week. Yeah, the last matchup that I think is a must-see is actually going to be Legacy versus Phantoms. Uh, we just watched Legacy in the featured game of the week. They barely snuck away with a win in three over Hidden Potential, scoring four in the last five minutes uh, to win 4-3. Uh, so they definitely have to clean up their game going forward. Players to watch is definitely PTP. Uh, he's been on Legacy for a while, but he's played forward. He's played D. Where is he going to play? Uh, so they're definitely trying to find the best spot for him and the team. I think Diamond's another player. He's the left winger for them. Huge part of the win over Hidden Potential last week, being part of all the goals, I think, for Legacy, if not all, most of them. And then Jay Money, he helped steal game two against Hidden Potential, uh, winning 1-0, stopping all 18 shots. So those are the three players that you definitely need to look out for on Legacy. For the Phantoms... Uh, they definitely earned their spot here. They probably had the toughest schedule out of any 20 teams. Uh, they had to play Fantastic Boys in Week 1, Unknown Talent in Week 2. Both were 2-0 sweeps, so definitely a solid team. Uh, the last season of ESHL, they were actually up 3-0 in Round 1 against the eventual winner's composure, but they did get reverse swept. So they are a good team. Uh, they're hot and cold, it looks like. Uh, but definitely players to watch is going to be Monster and uh, Hero Duck, which is the demon for Phantoms. Uh, last week, they held unknown talent to only one goal in 118 minutes of play, and they only allowed one shot in game one. So <laughs> if they can play defense like that, uh, it's going to be tough for Legacy to get through. And then for Phantoms offensively, Twistified's their left winger. He's their main goal scorer. Uh, definitely need to keep an eye on him. He's facing against the blocker side, which is usually the weaker side on human goalies. And, uh, all right, who do you got? Oh, man, I hope Legacy has figured out what they are doing over there. I think I think they're going to win in three. I think they'll win in three? Yeah, I really I think that their game one where PTP played center, even though that Flowmaster uh, did lag out and it was definitely a connection issue with them, I'm super interested to see how their lineup goes. Um, but uh, I will choose Legacy as well. I think they just have some of the bigger names, um, mm -hmm. or more recognizable names at least, and uh, I want to see Jay Money again in net and see. He played fantastic in that series uh, last week, so I will take Legacy as well in three. Um, but that's all 2-0 and o teams. Um, let's talk about one of the more intriguing matchups you've got here, and you've listed Dahlia versus Montage Moment, so the Nasher 
montage moment. Give me your, give me why that's uh, that's intriguing. Yeah, it's it's another two. Both teams are two and zero, oh, but it's intriguing because montage moment has probably had one of the easier schedules out of all the teams to get here. Dahlia is definitely considered a top ten team in North America. They play a very slow trap game. Uh, montage moment hasn't had to play a team like that yet. And I'm interested to see if they're going to be able to break down that solid defense that Dahlia has. No, for sure. There's a lot of big sixes names on this Dahlia roster. Um, and uh, I agree. It will be interesting to see if, um, you know, Nash's team that is 2-0, and oh, fantastic for them. And like we discussed earlier, it will be interesting to see if um, if they are able to go to 3-0. and oh. If they're able to go to 3-0, and oh, that's super impressive. And like I said, mm-hmm. they've already – they're basically – you know, at minimum one game away from from getting in a playoff spot with you know four to go, so or five to go, so that's uh, definitely something to watch out for. So again, for guys, sure. that's uh, there's a lot of matchups going on, and every week now as we go forward, every single series pretty much is going to be um, a must watch month. So we'll try and see if we can find uh, the in and outs and ones that you know kind of have the most intriguing storyline for you guys. But uh, again, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm No Sleeps Twelve. He is Shekel. Thank you again, man, for. Bringing breaking it all down and uh, you know getting all the player info i really i uh, really do appreciate it man and all the content you brought has been uh, has been top notch man so thanks again for hanging out and uh man we'll see you next week dude see ya